I'm going to make this short. Now, yes, you can play WWE 2K22 early, but you have to spend $79 to $119 to play it early. Okay? That's bullshit. See, think about it. I'm, I mean, kids, y'all don't understand. Okay? But that's grown men on TikTok bragging about that shit. I can tell half of them still stare at their mama. Or they don't really stay on their own. Because the gas is four nineteen a gallon. So that means shit. It costs more money to fill that motherfucker up. Right? But then hell yeah, I can play the game early. Man, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. You're sitting there cause you can afford it. Even if I could I mean I could afford it. I got money set up for it, but I shit. Something like you know, when you get older, guys. This thing called life happens. Bills, kids, something breaks in the fucking house. You waste money on a fucking video game. Hmm. Okay, think about this. GameStop don't do returns. Target don't do returns. Walmart don't do returns. Best Buy don't do returns. So you sitting there stuck with a $60 goddamn game while these bills coming to kick your fucking ass. And another fucking thing. Let me give you a story about myself. SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. It was 64.13 at GameStop, right? I bought that fucking game. When I bought that game, that put me in debt for a whole year. I mean, cause fuck. I'm a minimum wage motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Just like everybody else out here. I don't got no damn big time or uh, multi-million dollar job. You know, I don't get paid no goddamn salary. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that game put me in debt for a whole motherfucking year. You know what I'm saying? I was always behind an eight ball paying bills. I was like, why the fuck is this damn happening to me? Very simple. You bought that fucking game and you didn't wasn't financially ready for it. This is before DLCs. This is before Fortnite's Call of Duty's Warframes, okay? Video game industry was different back then. You know, they put more work inside of a video game because there wasn't no other additional thing you could damn use, you know, add to it. You know, it was the game, it was the disc, whatever was programmed on there, it was programmed on there, if you get what I'm saying. So, shit. Anyway, I'm just saying, as I conclude this video, I mean, for what I've seen so far, it's all right. There's some stupid glitches where they'll run towards the rope and they get stuck in that frame for a while. Or there'll be like an exchange of punches if somebody outside on the apron, you the inside on the apron, y'all exchange punches for a long ass time. You know, the pin count gets stuck. What else I've seen? But other than that, for what I've seen so far, that's about it. I mean, people complain about the reversal system. They try to make it like a fight game. What you think they were trying to do anyway? That's how WWE works. You know, 2K works. Let's try this system out and see how people like it. And if it's annoying, we'll keep doing something to it. But if, if they like it, we'll change the move, the, uh, the grapple system next game. If you get what I'm saying. They do that shit all the fucking time. Okay. From the start of... Well, actually, 2K13. You know, the move, the move, the grapple system was different. But you have to understand something about the grapple system and shit like that. They want to give you more moves. What I'm thinking is, I never played it yet, so I don't know. Maybe because that system that they added, they want to add more moves to the traditional four strong grapples. You know what I'm saying? To work yourself into different type of move sets, see what I'm saying? As they're used to having that long list of move sets on that wrestling game, but you can't utilize half of them. Yeah, you know I mean. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. All right, guys, be good.